We are getting you ready for Easter. You want some fantastic and fun decorations without spending a lot of money? You know what? Try balloons. Sandy from DIY Balloon Art is here to show us how simple it is. And you know what, Sandy? I have to tell you, I am really intimidated when I see all this, but you tell me that it's very simple even to do something like this. Don't be intimidated. That's right. It looks really complicated, and that's the thing. When you put these pieces together, the effect is wow. Yes. But really, if you look at them in terms of building blocks and what each piece is, they're very simple. Like, so here we have balloons that are tied in a in a row. They're yeah. linky balloons that have a tail on each end. Yeah. And then we take the quads, which is two sets of two balloons yeah. tied together. So I'll show you uh, how we do that real quick. Okay. So, so you, you see, we have we have two balloons tied together. I'm just gonna. And I, you know, when you showed this to me earlier, I couldn't believe how fast you did it and how simple it was. Yeah. So we just take the two balloons and we just tie them around each other, just like that. And then we take the two duplets now. Uh -huh. And we twist them together to make a quad. And you say don't worry about them popping because they're really durable. Don't worry about them popping. Absolutely, definitely. But you see that they're. I leave them kind of squishy. Yeah. We don't have them fully inflated. And even if it does pop, so what? You pull out another one and you inflate it. And then the other thing too is again, you, you work in these quads, and that's what the base is here for a lot of these things. That that's you what have the put base together. is for everything. Is this carrot is made out of bigger quads? Yeah. And what's great about it is this stand is just a lamp, just a floor lamp. And so I took off the electrical bits. Uh -huh. and and they use the base plate in the pole, and that's what's holding this all together. They're just wrapped around this, these lamps. Okay, Sandy, you're gonna show us another project, and this would be really fun to make for the kids, particularly when they're hunting for eggs. Or to have the kids make for themselves. Oh, I mean, this go. is an activity that the kids love to do. Kids okay. love to play with balloons. So we're gonna take these two 60s, okay. so named again, because they're approximately two inches wide and 60 inches long. These okay. are those, the, the balloons that clowns use and stuff. Okay. And we're going to twist a bubble. Now, we have to hold that bubble. Okay. If we let go, it's not gonna stay. So we Okay. Hold on to that bubble. Okay. And now we're going to let me take my hat off here. Okay. <laughs> Camera shy. All right. And we're just going to measure our head. Okay. Kind of go around the head like that. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. And then you just squeeze it together and okay. twist it, just like that. And then okay. we're going to take that little tail and just flip it through. Okay. Got it. And then I think All right. I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of twist that around and kind of make that the little cotton tail, you know. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now. All right. Uh. You got it. You're good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. I yeah. am. Woo! Don't be intimidated. Okay. All got right. It. Woo <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Then what? Okay. So now we're gonna take in the center. We're gonna put our hands at about the 11 o'clock and one o'clock. Okay. And squeeze it, and at the same time rotate it and twist it. Okay. So we kind of get this little triangle. Like okay. This. Got it. Oh yeah, that's real yeah. easy. Boy, I gotta tell anyone who's watching at home, if I can do this, then you can do this. Trust <laughs> me. Okay. It just takes practice and not being intimidated that the balloons will pop. Okay. Very okay, good. Okay. So now we're gonna take our half two six. Uh -huh. And we're just going to fold it in half uh -huh. and twist those two little bubbles at the end. Okay. And flip one through so that it's locked. Okay, got it. Oh, so flip and it through. Yeah. And we've pre-done one here. Okay. So that we have we have two. That's right. And all we have to do then is just roll it around just like this. Uh -huh. okay, and we've yeah. got... You know, it's funny. Admittedly, because I don't work with balloons, I'm afraid it's going to pop. But it, it hasn't popped on me yet, so... Right. Okay. And like I said, if it does, it's not a big deal. I have a whole basket of balloons oh, here. Oh, yeah. And, the, you know, balloons are so inexpensive that if you lose one, you're okay. Right. I mean, they come in 50 to 100-count bags generally. Yeah. So, you know, if one pops, so what? Look it just makes it make sure everybody's awake, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know what, Sandy? Thank you so much. And Boy. here we go. And if you want more information, you can come to my website, DIY Balloon Art, where I've got a ton of resources. You can get the balloons. Um, I've got free videos, um, all kinds of stuff. Okay, and the other thing, too, is your book. You call it the, the uh, Balloon Bible. You've got ideas yes, in there Yes, the DIY as well. Balloon Bible in there. Um, I, let's see, I can't remember what the Easter design is there, but uh -huh. we have a design for every season. All right, Sandy, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, happy Easter, and happy Passover, too. For Easter. <laughs> happy Easter, happy holidays, everyone. <laughs>